So I figured I'd talk about this because I originally reported on the fact that Final Fantasy XV was coming to Nintendo Switch. Uh, and, well, technically, uh, that was more of a hint that it was coming than a confirmation. Uh, it appears that they are really trying hard to get Final Fantasy XV on Switch. So this comes from an article at Eurogamer. And let me just read what it says here. Uh, there was some speculation that the Switch would get Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition, a mobile spinoff that takes the original game story and delivers it across 10 episodic chapters tailored for touchscreens. But it sounds as if Square Enix is attempting to get a version of the console game running on Nintendo's hardware. We're actually doing very specific technical investigations into what is possible at the moment, Tabata told us at Square Enix's Shinjuku offices ahead of this week's Tokyo Game Show. Where we are at the moment, we've completed these tests and have worked out where the ground lies. We're currently in the middle of the discussion and debate about what we should be doing and how to realize that on Switch. The other thing, you see the mobile version, the PC version. One thing we value is to optimize the way the game plays and the experience for the individual hardware it's on rather than a one-size-fits-all approach. We can't currently announce anything. We haven't come to a full decision on the best way to do it yet. We're having very open, frank discussions with Nintendo at the moment about what they think is the best to do. It's all under investigation. Now, here comes the important stuff. Honestly, we did the technical test to see if we could use the same native engine we used on other console versions on Switch. We tried to run it there. The results weren't satisfactory, said Tabata. It wasn't what you'd want from a final game. It doesn't mean that's the end of that. We're looking at the options, like the customization of the engine. To give you an example of how open these discussions are, we're talking to Epic at the moment about maybe what we could possibly do there. And if we did a Switch version, maybe we'd be able to partner and do something there. Their Unreal environment is just amazing and will be very useful. You have to have all these options on the table. Without that, it'd be impossible to make a decision about what we can do on that platform. So it sounds like th this is the crazy thing. Uh, for a lot of people that might have criticized me for saying that Final Fantasy XV is coming to Switch uh, before there was really an official announcement. It was just uh, a tease about something happening with something that rhymes with Twitch. I, I have to say... As you're reading these words, not only does it sound like Final Fantasy XV is coming to Nintendo Switch, it sounds like they are so dedicated to making it come to Nintendo Switch that they might even change the entire engine the game is running on over to Unreal Engine 4 just so it can be there on Switch. And what makes it very interesting is that Final Fantasy XV did not sell well. It did not meet sales expectations for uh square and they've been working on that game forever what was it eight or ten years i can't remember it was a long development cycle and a lot of it was because of the luminous engine itself and the realization obviously at some point in development that the luminous engine just isn't very good uh so the fact that the luminous engine isn't can't run on switch very well that uh optimizing it isn't necessarily going very well isn't a big surprise because the luminous engine itself just is a very difficult engine to work with but unreal engine 4 is not and the switch fully supports unreal engine 4 and epic themselves did the customization to make it work on the switch so yeah the fact that they're talking to nintendo and being frank about it talking to epic and being frank about it it definitely sounds like one of the major options being considered is literally recoding the game to work with unreal engine 4 so it can run properly on switch that is crazy so for like all the people out there that were like yeah if they do bring final fantasy 15 it'll just be the pocket edition because that's the easiest port for them to do you're right that is the easiest port for them to do but that's not what they want to do square enix is very very stubborn with final fantasy 15 they so desperately want it to be a success even though it hasn't been that uh they feel like nintendo might be the way to make it a success so much so they're willing to rework the game into an entirely new engine 
That is nuts to me. Uh, when, when have we ever heard a game developer be like, yeah, so we're going to bring your game to uh, our game over to there, but we're going to rework it into a new engine. And I'm not talking about like a Final Fantasy, or a Final Fantasy, a FIFA 18 situation, you know, where they're using an old FIFA engine to do it. This game was never built on Unreal Engine 4. It was literally built on one engine, and then a completely different version of the game was made for phones. So this is just crazy to me that Square Enix is considering doing this. Uh, it, it shows their high dedication, obviously, to Final Fantasy XV, their high dedication to really wanting this game on Switch, and it also probably shows a little bit of their own admittance that uh, they should not have used the Luminous Engine in the first place and probably should have built this game with Unreal Engine 4 from, you know, day one or at least halfway through development, you know, realize that, hey, this isn't working, we should probably switch engines you know they, they stuck to it uh the game does look utterly fantastic on other platforms but obviously uh that engine they're using is not a very flexible one i'm i'm just kind of taken aback that tabata and the team at square enix is this dedicated seemingly to getting this game on switch uh I, can you guys even think of one other example where a developer was so dedicated to bringing uh, their software to a specific platform that they were willing to change the entire engine the game runs on to make that happen? That is just nuts to me. I, I'm still flabbergasted here, but it definitely sounds like Spare Enix does not want to bring the Pocket Edition. They want to bring the full version of Final Fantasy XV over, and they want to do it uh, seemingly with Unreal Engine 4 being one of their main options at the moment because they feel like Unreal Engine 4... Uh, if they convert their engine into Unreal Engine 4, uh, can run the game uh, even better than the Luminous Engine can, especially on Switch. This is just great news uh, for anyone who wants Final Fantasy 15, and just great news in general. Uh, I played a little bit of Final Fantasy 15. I've read some reviews of it. Uh, it, it sounds like it's a good game. Uh, it, it's not at the the wonder years of Final Fantasy, you know, the early years, uh, all the way up through Final Fantasy VII, or even you know my personal one of my personal favorites in the series, Final Fantasy XII. But it's definitely a game that is worth playing and worth your time if you like JRPGs. And man, it is exciting to me to see a company so dedicated to Switch that they are willing to almost do absolutely anything to bring the full version of their flagship title to the platform. And I know that this is just one company, and it, you know it doesn't really mean much, but if you consider all the other third-party support that Switch is getting so far, and I realize on the grand scale, Switch still barely has third-party support, right? There are so many third-party games not coming to Switch, but... Switch is getting this sort of dedication from Square Enix, getting that sort of dedication from Bethesda and 2K, uh, even a little bit from EA. I know it's not much, but a little bit. It, it's in Ubisoft as well. I know they don't have their flagship title with Assassin's Creed Origins coming, but, you know, a after playing around with the Snowdrop engine with Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Ubisoft could definitely start to be on board with future games that use Snowdrop engine. And you're starting to see now that... These third parties just really, really desperately want to be on Switch and are almost willing to do anything. And I'm starting to wonder if any new games started from this point forward at all of these studios, they're going to start considering Switch from day one. Instead of looking at the Xbox One X and looking at PCs and looking at PlayStation 4 Pro, they're going to be like, look, first we want this thing to be on Switch, then we want it to be on everything else. Obviously, we want it to be and take advantage of 4K and all this stuff, but they're going to make sure from the get-go Oh, this bad boy can run on switch and obviously for us that that are switch owners that's good that's a good impression for us to have uh but for others out there that are worried it's going to hold gaming back obviously that's always a concern when you start to consider a wide array of hardware and um, you build it first with the weakest of that hardware in mind but i'm honestly not that worried about it there's not a lot going on in, in current today's gaming let me put it this way uh in the past, there's always been massive visual leaps and massive uh, leaps in physics and everything. From what I have played of of today's games on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, I have not seen a leap this generation in terms of gameplay. Uh, so I don't think them uh, considering Switch first is really going to hold back games. Uh, and they're still going to push the visuals pretty hardcore on other platforms. They're just going to use engines that scale really well. 
like Unreal Engine 4. And you can't tell me there's not Unreal Engine 4 games that look absolutely stunning on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PC because there are. Uh, so I'm not that concerned about it. I'm pretty happy that Square Enix is showing this kind of dedication. And it's still baffling to me. I've never heard of a AAA studio being like, hey, look, we want to bring this game to your platform so bad we're willing to change the entire game engine. That's just... Oh. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more videos like this, folks. And I'll just catch you in the next one.